Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone at Wake Up America Media Network. International Guild of Realism held one of its annual shows in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I was lucky enough to catch up with a few of those amazing artists. Ranging from classical to contemporary and modern to Western, the artwork of the artists was a lot of fun, and so were they. I hope you enjoy the interviews with these fascinating and talented individuals. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and you have entered the DM Zone, and I am at Sage Creek Gallery here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Welcome. I am here today visiting with realism artist Don Clapper, also the co-founder of the International Guild of Realism. Welcome. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about Igor. Well, it's been a group since 2002. Uh, we wanted to have a major uh, artist group that has some of the best realism in the world. And now after eight or nine years, I think we have over 260 members and I think we're over like 25 and 30 countries all over the world. So it's truly an international artist group. And we're so proud to have our sixth annual show at Sage Creek Gallery in Santa Fe. Sage Creek Gallery is right here in the heart of Santa Fe, where everything is happening. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we're um, right in the middle of the downtown area and the historic center of town. We're one block south of the plaza, so uh, beautiful uh, location. We have a lot of traffic coming through the gallery. We have visitors from all over the world as well. And, and right now, for you, this honor of hosting the International Guild of Realism, what does that mean for your gallery? Well, this is a prestigious organization, the International Guild of Realism, and so um, it's a, a, we feel it's a real feather in our hat to be um, hosting a show of this caliber. And this is a juried show. What was that process like so far up to you? Now, I know there's also judges coming, but the juried part. You have whittled it down to 79. How many did you begin with? There were hundreds, and it was <laughs> a difficult process. But the caliber of the show was so good, and the paintings were... Um, really very good and so it was actually difficult to even jury it down to 79 but um, we were very impressed with the, um, the entries. Now you've been a member of IGOR for a really long time. Tell me a little bit about that. You're a charter member? I am. Uh, I joined the guild uh, right at the early stages and uh, I paint figures and I, I love uh, the traditional technique of the old masters so that's what I I kind of feed off and uh, for me when you look at a painting that's done in that technique it's like time disappears and uh, to me it's like it unites the artists from the Renaissance and uh, up to the contemporary realist artists so that's what I love. Realism does cover a wide spectrum is that correct? Yes you can do you know still lives you, you can do uh, landscapes of my thing is the figures, you know? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. and you do them very well. This is a very important art organization, and how many paintings are going to be here? 79 paintings and 70 artists. Some of the artists had more than one painting in the show. So. And there are a lot that are going to be in attendance at the opening night, which is on the September 30th date. We're expecting 25 to 30 uh, oh, artists exactly. and from different parts of the world, actually, because it's an international organization. Right, and that's as far as uh, Tokyo and Denmark and... Europe and different places in Europe, Canada. Oh, my goodness. So it's very exciting. And 20 states in the United States, I understand, right? Yes. Hi, I'm here visiting now with Sue Kristen, and she is also a member of IGOR. Welcome. Thank you. Tell me about being a member of the International Guild of Realism. Well, I'm very excited. I just became a member, and this is the first time that I've applied for the show. And uh, to be accepted in such a prestigious group and show, I'm just delighted. Tell me about the transformation from the Sage Creek Gallery into a museum for the Igor Show. Well, we're going to dedicate over half of our space in the gallery to the, uh, the Guild Show. And um, if you've ever been to our gallery, you'll know that it's such a wonderful space for exhibiting fine works of art as we're going to have on display at the International Guild of Realism Show. Hi, I am here with sculptor Bala Ola, and you also paint, but welcome. We are at Sage Creek Gallery, 
And this is where IGOR, the International Guild of Realism, is coming. When? At end, end of September, yes. I am so excited. I'm going to be here uh, to meet everybody that enjoys art and are going to see the show. And I myself uh, am born in Europe, in Iceland, and uh, this is an international show. We'll have uh, paintings from all over the world, and I'm, I'm just thrilled about that. So please visit us uh, on the web. Uh, the Realism Guild has its own website at www.realismguild.com and it has quite a bit of information on our sixth annual show in Santa Fe. And then also you can go to Sage Creek's website, sagecreekgallery.com and they've just recently put up an online exhibition so you can see every one of the paintings. I am Gary Siebert, I'm the owner of Sage Creek Gallery beautiful downtown Santa Fe and we invite all of you to come to the, uh, the show, the International Guild of Realism show in September uh, 30th through the 22nd and our website is www.sagecreekgallery.com so look for us on the web. And again I am Diane Marie Collins and you have been in the DM zone. We like to interview fun and interesting people from authors to celebrities to almost celebrities or soon to be celebrities. Don't forget, you are in the DM zone on Wake Up America Media Network. Come back soon.